This is what desperation looks like. Thousands raid United Nations warehouses in southern Gaza. The UN is warning that civil order is starting to break down and the situation is getting worse every minute. We have no flour, no water, not even toilets. Our houses were destroyed. No one cares about us. The Red Cross is now delivering medical aid to Gazan hospitals. But it's not nearly enough. It is a drop in the ocean, but we are, uh, it is the third track that we are offloading today. As Israel's ground war gathers pace, the army released new pictures showing armoured bulldozers and tanks inside Gaza, where they found Hamas fighters trying to leave a tunnel. This underground network is where Hamas is believed to be hiding most, if not all, of the 239 hostages. Getting them home is why Israel says it's pressing into Gaza. Troops are on the march alongside columns of tanks as it strikes at hundreds of Hamas targets in the Strip. <laughs> but for the Palestinians inside the enclave, it's a daily horror. As rescuers pull survivors from the rubble of a bombed apartment block, you can hear this mother's agony. My daughter, my daughter, she screams. With very little to no phone and internet reception, there's no way to call an ambulance, forcing people to use whatever vehicle they can find, but getting to the hospitals is an almost impossible journey. Inside the Al-Quds hospital in Gaza City, there's panic and chaos. Israeli airstrikes have just hit Hamas targets very close by. Doctors say they can't evacuate the hospital. For patients, it's a death sentence. We have over 400 patients who are inside the hospital. Many of them are in the intensive care unit. Evacuating them means killing them. Over the last two weeks, we have been calling on residents of Gaza to move south temporarily. Today, we're emphasising that this is urgent. Israel has defended its strikes so close to hospitals, saying terrorists are hiding underneath, releasing images and graphics, claiming to have evidence that Hamas has set up its command centre beneath Gaza City's largest hospital. But as Israel marches towards an elusive enemy, it's left a population of 2.2 million Palestinians devastated and broken.